Shreya and Seema are paternal cousins and are very good friends as well. After many years, Seema has come to her village to spend holidays. Shreya is a few years elder than Seema, but still they enjoy each other's company a lot and they both love to spend time with their grandfather too. Oh Seema, you have changed a lot. What do you mean, grandpa? Your height has increased so much. And you have become so slim after going to the city. Don't you get anything good to eat over there? <laughs> no sis, it's nothing like that. Maybe I have become slimmer because since a few months my height has increased drastically. Probably this is the reason that I'm looking a bit changed to you. It is good though. Change is a universal law of nature. Yes grandpa, I have also read about changes in my science book. Really? Tell me what you have read in your book. Sis There are so many changes continuously taking place around us like the changing of day to night and then again the night changes into day at times it's sunny at times it's cloudy and at times it rains every year we see new grass which grows and then dries up with time fruits vegetables etc grow and rot with time milk turns into curd water evaporates clothes dry changes are taking place continuously around us brilliant grandpa seema has grown up and has become smart too shreya i know that you can add more knowledge to this tell me please it is quite an interesting topic seasonal changes days and nights are all natural changes but humans are also responsible for many changes Like we grind wheat to make flour and then make bread, biscuit and so many other things from that. These are also changes, right? All right, Seema. Now tell me, is every change is of similar kind? No, Grandpa. To understand changes, we can classify them into natural changes and man-made changes. Apart from them we can discuss about two more types of changes which type seema didi i will tell you actually there are some changes around us which are easily reversible explain it with an example didi first answer this question if i cover water after boiling it then what will happen first the water will convert into water vapor then on hitting the lid the vapors condense and changes to water again it means on boiling water converts into steam and on cooling it again converts into water hence the conversion of water into steam is an example of a reversible change See I can take this bed sheet from the bed and then set it on the bed again that means this is also an example of a reversible change very well seema and what if we cut this bed sheet with scissors then it can't be reversed similarly if we fry a vegetable once it can never regain its original form and that you have grown so taller this can't be reversed But you can gain weight and become fat again and by losing weight can become slim too. So this is a kind of reversible change. <laughs> you are absolutely right grandpa. Many times we mix things to bring changes. Like we mix blue and yellow colors to make green or we mix copper and tin to make an alloy like bronze. Very good. You both know about changes very well. Now let's watch this video and play a game with it. I will name a few changes and you have to tell me if they can be reversed or not. A raw egg on being boiled. That's right. It can't be reversed. A sweater knitted from wool? It is also right. It can be reversed. 
Now it's my turn. Producing biogas from cow dung. Yes, it can't be reversed. It was fun. Learning becomes so much easier and fun when it's done together. Now as you know that change is a universal law of nature. And many inventions and discoveries have taken place due to this need of conversions which has completely transformed our lifestyle. But with all this, we should also know the effects of changes in our environment. If we take water as an example, man's greed for water much more than their need has put environment into danger. Life is in trouble due to deforestation and continuous climate change. Yes, I agree. I have also seen a lot of discussions on this topic on TV and that trees can help us in reducing this change. Grandpa, why don't we plant some saplings in our village today? By doing this, we could at least bring a small and good change in environment. Yes, Didi. Let's go and plant trees. And Didi, why only today? We should plant a tree at least once a week. All right. Let's go now. But we must remember that we should also take care of these trees.